Hey, what's up? It's Bond, and today I'm going to talk about some updates around my content, the games I want to cover moving forward, and everything else I have going on. So we're going to jump right into it. So let's start with YouTube. I hit 2,000 subscriptions this week. Now, this is a cause for celebration. I have over 800 videos on my YouTube channel. I've been doing this a while. I only started taking YouTube seriously in the last year, year and a half or so. Uh, before that, it was a place where I would post like opinion videos, uh, especially back in my Division 2 days or, or gameplay clips, or I would uh, post the VODs from my streams, but I just never refined it. I never worked on it. Uh, but this year, my goal was to enter the partnership program with YouTube. And that required at least a thousand subs, which I had already, but not by much. I think I had barely just over a thousand subs at the beginning of 2023. And uh, so I was good there, but I knew I needed to grow my subs to help with the viewership. So hit 2000. The other metric is that you needed 4,000 hours viewed of your content in the last 365 days. And that's a rolling date. So if I had a video that happened to hit really big a year ago, that's going to hurt my, my time because it's, you know, it's, it's going to go away. So in that front, we're at about 3,400 hours out of the 4,000 that I need. That's really good. I'd never hit 3,000 before. There was a moment years ago where I almost got partnership and I missed it uh, by a few things. And then right before they switched it to this current system. Uh, and oddly enough, earlier this month or last month in June, they announced that they're actually lowering the threshold to 3000 viewing hours, which I have already, and I should be able to maintain. You're helping do that by watching this very video. Now it's a tiered system. So basically at 3000 viewing hours, I will get access to everything that a YouTube partner does besides ad revenue. And that's fine. I don't get enough views on my videos, even the good ones to make any substantial money, anything more than basically a few cents. That's fine. I'm not looking for that for funding. I have other places where people can support if they want to uh, check down in the description for links. So that should happen this month. I should hit, uh, I should get partnership this month uh, when they implement that 3000 uh, tier. Uh, and there's a really good chance that I would say at least by in seven day, I bet I hit, uh, you know, the 4000 threshold as well and get full partnership. Uh, what's what's funny is I, I look back, I look at the videos I have now, and um, at one point getting 50 views on each video was a goal and it wasn't happening. Uh, even this year, especially last year, then my goal was 100. And now things have gotten to the point where I hope at least out of my main videos, my videos about uh, Mass Effect, or if I make a video about like Starfield or some big topic, my goal is 250. And honestly, a lot of my videos lately have been going over that. And sooner than later, I hope by the end of this year, my expectation is 500. And then it's a thousand. And then you go up and up and you start to have those expectations for those higher numbers because, you know, that's the goal. Uh, even though I do this as a hobby, even though this is mostly fun for me, I still take it seriously. It's something I enjoy doing and that, you know, has been somewhat lucrative to me in some ways. And so I take it seriously because people are giving me their time and I think I should take that seriously. So on the YouTube front, things are going pretty well. And I think any of you who are watching this, cause you're probably part of this. And uh, thank you for watching my YouTube videos, subscribing, doing all of that stuff. Uh, it's been really fun this year. And I think that the goal to get partnered this year is happening and it's gonna happen like halfway through the year. And that's really cool. And I'm excited to set a new goal. Next, I have the podcast. That's a steady as she goes situation. Um, we're coming up on my 250th episode, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I, I have been doing that podcast for many years. It's called the Echo Cast, if you're not aware. Uh, it started off as a Division 2 podcast, or actually, it started as a Division 1 podcast, uh, it turned into a Division 2 podcast. And then a couple years ago, I guess it's been a couple years now, turned into more of a general gaming podcast. 
uh, where I talk about Mass Effect and the division and everything else I'm interested in and all of the news and speculation and you know comment on events and things that are happening. Um, the unique thing about the podcast, if you don't listen, is that it's only me. Um, solo podcasts are not very common because they're not very popular, uh, as I've learned, and that's fine. It's um, it's I'm just a kind of a solitary person. I don't collaborate very often, for better or worse, and I have found it's just um, I enjoy doing the solo thing. Um, I enjoy the interaction that comes from it because that's the star of the show really is hearing from the people who listen and you know 250 almost episodes in i'm really proud of the product i think it's really good um the listenership has plateaued pretty much it's uh, been roughly the same for the last couple of years um even though it has oddly enough ticked up a bit on youtube which is really odd um where I used to literally get maybe a dozen people listening to the, the podcast in the video version on YouTube. And now, you know, recent episodes have gotten over 100 views and things like that. You know, not huge numbers for a lot of people, but for me, I more care about improvement than comparisons. There's people who are making Mass Effect videos and have podcasts and stuff that get 100 views a minute or an hour and, and they blow me out of the water. That's fine. It, you know, I can only do what I'm doing. So uh, I would love those numbers. Maybe we'll get there one day. Uh, but for now, I'll celebrate what I have. So almost 250 episodes We're creeping up on it. I don't have anything super special planned um i would like to maybe have an interview or something for that 250th episode uh, to publish that have someone on either from the past who i've had on before um, i've been trying to work out some interviews uh the problem is, is a lot of gaming related people all of the ones i know are about to release games or are in the middle of kind of secretive stuff and so they're afraid to go on podcasts because they don't want to mess anything up and say something they're not supposed to so uh, we'll see. Uh, I do hope to have some interviews that are Mass Effect related around N7 Day. I'm sure I'll have N7 Legend uh, on after N7 Day so we can do all the breakdowns and, and, and throw out all of our theories and thoughts about that. Um, I'm also trying to get people uh, that work at Bioware and stuff like that. Again, they're a pretty tough bunch to get a hold of and, and to drag onto the show. Um, I know Mark Meir, uh, who voices Commander Shepard, is uh, pretty agreeable to coming on the shows and things like that. So, you know, it, may, it might be cool to have him on uh, in or, or on or around in seven days. So keep an eye out on the podcast. It is called The Echo Cast. It is on all podcast platforms. And uh, I would love if you would check it out. The stream. OK, so that's a kind of an interesting one. The stream at this point is my lowest priority. Um, it's not that I don't take it seriously. I hope if you do watch my streams that you enjoy them, uh, that you think that they are like worthy content. I think I, um, you know, I've been streaming for a long time. And even though I've never made it big or, um, you know, even gotten close to partnership and stuff, I am still really proud of the product. I think that I do a good stream. It's just my biggest issue is I tend to play games people don't care about watching and I just don't stream very consistently and uh, those two things make it hard to grow especially nowadays on twitch or really any streaming service uh, you're you're fighting an uphill battle but um, i still really enjoy it i see it as a way to connect to people who watch my videos who check out the podcast who maybe pay attention to my twitter and stuff like that um you know the stream like like the steam is uh, the stream is probably never gonna be like my biggest thing at this point um, i'm probably not the most interesting person to watch uh but i think it is a good way to have that you know that contact with people that are in my discord that are in these other places and um it's it, it's cool and it is cool like you'll notice i, I only carry a fairly you know, around a dozen subs at any given time on twitch uh but um i think at least half of them have been subs for like four or five years i believe i have someone who should be a 70 month sub fairly soon uh, my stream anniversary is coming up and i believe i started back in 2000 18 or maybe 17 I'd, I'd have to look it up so uh the stream you know not any huge news there um when the youtube partnership thing goes through and i have access to badges and emotes and stuff like that i do plan on at least trying out the stream labs multi streaming uh service uh, where I will stream on YouTube and on Twitch. 
uh, and have full ability for people to uh, get memberships or subscriptions or to donate bits or do super chats and do all of that stuff. Um, and I'm going to do it through Streamlabs. Uh, if you paid attention to my streams a few months ago, I was basically running two streams at a time every time I streamed to make it work. And it was just it was too much work. It was rough on my PC. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll try the multi streaming again, uh, but with a focus on Twitch and uh, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. So there's the stream. Please come check me out. Twitch.tv slash Bond Diesel. Now, when it comes to the actual content, um, I want to focus on Mass Effect. I really am pretty dedicated to the long play of getting as into the Mass Effect community as I can, into the ear holes of the people who are paying attention and looking for um, you know, updates around Mass Effect and things like that. Everyone else, all of the other freaks who uh, are, are like me and who will want to you know, pay attention to every little detail and every little thing. Um, that said, I can only talk about it so much with Mass Effect. I really don't want to get into the habit where I've seen people in the Mass Effect creators world and with other games where you're sensationalizing things really bad. You're just making stuff up. You're covering the same stuff over and over again just for the sake of making a video. So. I may pull back a little bit on my Mass Effect content because I'm running out of ideas. So until N7 Day comes and I can milk that for another year, uh, you know, you may see other content, which I've been doing. I've been trying some other stuff and it's been moderately successful. Um, I do want to uh, keep doing at least like one Mass Effect video a week. I think I have that um, bandwidth, uh, but we'll uh, we'll see. So be on the lookout for that. If you have ideas for Mass Effect videos, I'm always happy to take suggestions. Uh, when it comes to streaming or even YouTube videos, we do have games um, like Escape from Tarkov is about to have a new wipe in the next month or so. And I will probably cover that a little bit, at least stream it. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 is coming here at the end of the month or early August. That's going to be kind of my holdover game probably until Starfield. And then when Starfield comes out, it's a weird thing where like, I'm probably going to play Starfield till the Mass Effect game comes out um, off and on. Like, I'm, I'm sure I'll still dabble in some Mass Effect. I'll obviously keep playing my Battlefield 2042 and Tarkov and Apex Legends and, you know, any other games that come up that I'm interested in. But I, um, you know, the, the content is going to be kind of me starting to try to play more things that I'm like excited about. Um, I, there are some like Mass Effect playthroughs and stuff that I do want to like dabble in and check out. Um, but I am starting to notice that, you know, I, I don't want to stream Mass Effect every single time I play. Um, I really don't think it helps my getting into that community that much. Maybe streaming like once a week Mass Effect would be fun and then playing other stuff as well. So we'll see. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, when it comes to social media, uh, the Twitter subject has been interesting. I'm probably going to be one of the people that goes down with the Twitter ship. I think Elon Musk is weird and is making terrible decisions. And I, I really hate seeing the direction Twitter is going. I, I genuinely used to enjoy my experiences there and the people I had interacted with and things like that. Um, I really think it uh, at one point was really cool, if, even though it was never perfect. And I think now it's catering to an audience that I'm just not a part of. Uh, we have like the Instagram threads, which I am fairly active on now that just released. Um, it's the only one I have any interest in messing with. I think Mastodon kind of stinks. Uh, Hive never took off. Uh, it's spoutable and all these other ones are just, you know, they're not going to do it. Um, Blue Sky is the big one that people seem to be trying to make happen. I think the involvement of Jack is not good. I think he's a tough character and I just think that it being exclusive still and not being opened I, even now is just not going to uh, fare well for them especially as threads kind of takes off so uh, you know I'll still be around if you enjoy the social medias if you don't I don't blame you uh, but you'll probably be finding me mostly on Twitter and threads from now on 
last Patreon. We had some growth this year. Um, it's not huge. Uh, you know, I'm still hoping to get 10 patrons uh, and and, uh, and it's cool. It, it's a nice little funding source. It's how I'm going to pay for that Streamlabs subscription and stuff to be able to multi-stream and have a bunch of other tools available to me. And um, it's really appreciated. I, I, I'm planning a fairly big upgrade to a bunch of my equipment here in the next uh, couple of weeks. And so be on the lookout for any changes there. You may not even know this, but I certainly will when it comes from a like an efficiency point of view. So uh, that money, I I promise I'm not getting rich off of anything that people give me. It's all basically trying to break even with things that I've spent and invested uh, in like the internet I pay for and things like that. Uh, so, you know, if you want to be a patron, it starts as one, five or ten dollars a month. It's it's pretty cheap. The main thing you get from it are ad free episodes of the podcast every week. And I'm willing to do other things. You just need to suggest it. I need to know what people want from the Patreon. Uh, and I'll do more. Uh, it's just people have never really asked for much. It seems like people just want to support, which is cool too. So patreon.com slash bond diesel. Check it out if you want to. Uh, it's a cool way to support if you don't like to give money to YouTube or Twitch or any of those other places. It's something to consider. And that's kind of all I have. Um, you can catch me as Bond Diesel on Twitter and Twitch and now uh, threads if you want to. Uh, please subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it. If you want more of my content, uh, there's plenty more coming. It's uh, shouldn't be stopping anytime soon. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below, even if it's just to say hello. That's all I have for this one. So until next time.